Well, welcome back. Another episode of Two Men in a Van. <laughs> Holla! Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Oh. Anyway, uh, so what we got to report this week? Well, been a bit of a busy week for Dubster this week. Done quite a lot of work on the van. Um, Loads. Yeah, yeah, quite a lot. So we've got new seats in up front. We've got a set of Recaros off of eBay, and we've put new bases on them, which Ian and I did on Tuesday. Um, we're now on Friday. Yesterday went to the van for a remap. So this is the 102 five-speed uh, T5, which is the renowned to have a weak gearbox one. Um, so we've had a, a gentle tickle on that, but I'll tell you what, she flies now. We always uh, tickle, right? Well, that's true. It's true. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've been cutting a shitload of stickers this morning as well, so we've got more stickers to give away. We've got all sorts going on. But what we wanted to talk about this week was maintenance. Bit of a dull word. Um, a lot of people choose not to do maintenance yeah. and wait until things are broken until they do it. Um, <clears throat> and we just kind of wanted to go through a few of the things that are pretty much essential when it comes to running your, your V-double or any vehicle. <laughs> You're right, stroke it. Are you maintaining yourself there? Maintaining myself. Look. Ah, so right, okay. If I sit here all like that. So, but if I look like that. Look um, like everyone knows that you're meant to service your car at least every year, possibly every 10,000, maybe every 15,000 on a new vehicle. A lot of people do it every six months, man. Um, what's the point? The point in, in, in regular servicing, basically. I have to think about it now because you put me on the spot. Regular servicing and regular maintaining your vehicle. Um, it's just basically to keep everything lubricated, to keep everything fresh. Now, the last thing you want to do with, with your oil is get it all thick and horrible. And if you're not maintaining your vehicle, you're not change, doing regular oil changes, it's going to go thick and horrible. It's not going to get in the right places. You're going to get a blocked oil filter. Um, and the last thing you want is a blocked oil filter because does that lead to a bang? No, that leads to a bang. Big, um, big like bang. Big bang. Um, and it's good to know what's going on. I mean, you can't really just run a vehicle and just expect it to go and go and go and go forever. It's like your body. You're eating sausages now. <laughs> Pretty good sausages, you know, I'll be honest. If you ate loads and loads of sausages this every single a, day. This is a pork sausage with a red caramelised onion. And a gluten-free, which means they're safe for you. We all like a sausage. So gluten free is another maintenance issue, isn't it? Because uh -huh. if you don't maintain yourself with gluten free food, you are going to have real the, issues. The, the shit's real bad. I was trying not to swear, but well done, mate. Stay classy. <laughs> um, so, I'm not a mechanic, but I also understand maintenance because I don't want big bills to come on my vehicle. And... If you stay on top of your servicing and maintenance, well, firstly, you shouldn't even get those big bills um, because you do things before it gets to that point. Um, and like Ian said, you you have that understanding of what's going on with your vehicle and knowing that everything's okay and it's been looked at by a mechanic in recent times. So I can set off on a long journey and know that if something goes wrong, it's going to be a catastrophic failure and not really something that would have been covered by maintenance anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so is, it's mate. that it's peace the, of mind thing. It's in the name. Maintain. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, was, it's like I was saying, you can't expect something like that to keep, or something like a vehicle, to go and go and go and go and go forever without maintaining it. So let's um, put this into real terms because I think most of us know to do their, our annual servicing. But van owners, okay? I'm a van owner, you're a van owner. There's a shed load of van owners out there. Now, I use mine as a daily. You use yours as a daily. Yeah. Vans are built to be dailies. Yeah. They're built stronger than cars. That's why they can take higher mileage and stuff like that. Yeah. But a lot of people drive campers. Yeah. And they don't use their campers daily. Yeah. So what happens is they go and use their camper for the summer season. Possibly don't service it before tucking it up for the winter on the driveway. And then come April maybe May, they go out there and go, right, show season started again, camping season started again, let's get going. And they expect to be able to just jump in their, their camper and go for it. Now, logic tells me that that's not going to work. 
From a mechanics point of view, can you tell us what might happen in that six months while it's been sat there, not moved at all, possibly not even started, mm -hmm. on the driveway? Right, so what you've got to think is, it, it, like I said, it's sat there, it's had no oil lubrication. Yep. Right? It's so had, what's happening to the oil in the engine? Right. Well, it's just sat there, so everything will drop. Okay, yeah. so the tough stuff at the top of the engine is we'll, then we'll, not going to have oil on it, which means it could corrode? Well, yeah, well, it'll corrode quite heavily, yeah. I mean, you know, at worst case scenario, you can seize your engine up. Ew. Yeah. Just from leaving it, just from leaving it sat? Just leaving it sat, yeah. Yeah, just from leaving it sat with no regular... Well, that's there. not going to be a good start to the summer <laughs> season, is it? <laughs> yeah, imagine it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, it will seize your engine if you're sat there. It's got no lubrication, it's got no nothing. You've got, so how can you, no water so how can you avoid that? So, regular turnover, that's all you really need to do. Is so what we're talking, there, just turn it over, once a week, once, once a, a month? Week, once a week, turn it over once a week. And what um, we're talking, maybe, just run it for a minute or two? Or? No, 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 no. I mean, you know, if you can, jump in it. Yeah. Go and do a couple of miles down the road. Get things moving. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Because there's all. It's not just the engine that you've got to keep maintained. So you've got. So to let's talk about the other things that that might be a problem. You then, keep it? interrupting me. Well, I'm trying to keep this quick so <laughs> that our audience aren't getting bored by us yeah. rambling on about the same thing. Yeah, true story. So um, next thing past like engine oil, which to me is a, a pretty obvious one, but you know, pretty cat catastrophic failure. You've then yeah. got gearbox. Well, that's yeah. same theory. Same it's theory. full of oil. Yeah. If the oil all drops, then something can corrode in there, which means it's going to become damaged yeah. more easily. The last thing you need is rust in your engine. Then. Yeah, for sure. You're just yeah, going to, yeah, you know, yeah, any kind of metal flakings or anything else in the engine. Bad, anything. bad yeah, times. Yeah. Um, so moving past the engine, the next things that to me are quite obvious that should be moved regularly, mm -hmm. wheels and tires. Wheels and tires. Because brake discs, you know, all of us know that if you take your, your car or van out and have it cleaned in the summer, when it's really hot and you've just driven to a car wash, and then you hit those brake discs with your nice fresh water, mm -hmm. you leave there with a nice shine of rust all over your, all over your brake disc. Yeah. Now, that's not a problem when you're going to drive off and take that surface rust off straight away. Yeah. But I can tell you there's a car that's been abandoned near my home, um, and it's been sat there about a year. And those brake discs are not <laughs> going to be cleaned by the brake nice. pads. Let's just say, I think for her to move that car Crusty. is probably going to cost more than the car is worth. <laughs> because it's going to be new discs, new pads, four new tyres. Yeah. That's just to move it. Yeah. I haven't even tried starting the engine at this point. Yeah. So, yeah, discs and pads... If you want your discs and pads to be in good condition come the end of that sort of locked off time in the winter, you need to move the thing. You need to use the brakes. And tyres? Yeah, exactly the same. Well, they, they start to uh, break down. If not used, they will break down, so they'll start to crack on the wall. And there's not only the cracking, there's the flat spot. The so, flat you know, we've all had that thing when you've gone to move the car and you just get that... Uh -uh. As it sort of lifts off the driveway and yeah. you get a little bump. Well, you know, that's after you leave the car for a week or two, but six months, you know, you could be investing in four new tyres. Well, that's fine if you want to keep your own money at your van, but you can avoid all of that. All of it. Just by regular maintenance. Regular maintenance, drive it regularly. Cars don't like being left. Now, another thing that people uh, people leave out as well, and I see it all the time, is uh, belts, auxiliary, right. auxiliary drive belts, things like that. Okay, same as tyres. Okay, same as tyres. They, well, they're terrible for cracking and corroding because there's a lot of heat involved in them. Yeah. Right? So it's hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And it's and natural it's rubber and, or EPDM. Rubber, yeah, and it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll crack and it snaps. And then all of a sudden you've got no, you've, well, on certain vans, you've got no power steering, you've got no nothing, battery light on. All of a sudden it snaps, you're into traffic. <laughs> all not good as well. Bad times. Not good at all. So again, re regular maintenance. Not even a maintenance on that, just an inspection yep. from that side of you to make sure everything's sweet and tucked in. Do you know what I mean? But so can we sum this up with um, just a, a couple of quick tips? Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking, maintain it at least every year, get a service. Yeah. And if you've got a, a decent mechanic, they'll do that for you. They're not going to charge you the earth for it. No, no. Um, but you should be ma uh, at least giving your, your vehicle a service every year. Mm -hmm. You need to move the thing regularly. Do not leave your vehicle sitting if you want to be able to go back to it 
and expect to be able to use it without having problems. Remember, seize hell. Ooh. It seizes. I think if you also if you have got a decent mechanic, and it's something do you know that, what? it's something that no none. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that I do. No matter what I do on a vehicle, I will always go around and give it a quick fluid check. No matter what I'm doing, if I'm doing rear brakes, I'm doing a tow bar. Quick fluid check. Mm -hmm. Right, because it's a done thing. It's what we should be doing. Yep. Yeah. And that way, it just lets the customer know that you're looking after their interests. Yeah. Of which you are. It needs to be done. These things need to be done. Sweet. So, regular maintenance. Keep that vehicle moving. Don't just leave it sitting for the winter and expect it to be all right in the summer. So, just as we're coming into the winter season now and people are thinking about putting that tarpaulin over the van, stop! Stop now! Don't put the tarpaulin over the van! What you need to do is drive it next week. And, and the week after. And eat sausages. And eat sausages. They're good sausages, aren't they? You did it again, didn't you? How are we going to get away with having a YouTube channel that youngsters can watch if you keep doing that? Dad and it. Anyway, that's it. It's Friday. Have a good weekend. Over and out for now. See you later. See you later, guys.